This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. Until um, at the next legislative session, essentially we kind of have to sit on the sidelines and wait. Renewable energy here in the Silver State seems to be a never-ending contradiction. Is Nevada a friend or a foe of that energy? We're addressing the issue in tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story at 5 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Landon Miller. Kristen is off this week and thank you for joining us. Well, it seems like we are getting conflicting signals on the solar industry front here in Nevada. Are we pushing towards it or backing away? Aaron Breen has the update. This huge hybrid power plant unveiled in Stillwater just yesterday is being touted as the jewel in Nevada's quest for solar power. Something international dignitaries were here to celebrate. <laughs> solar energy in general is something that Governor Sandoval has supported all along. We've installed over six billion dollars of renewable energy projects in the state in the past six years. So we're really proud of what we've done here. We do believe we're not only a national leader, but an international leader when it comes to renewable energy. But how serious can this state really be about growing the solar industry when the PUC has recently put its foot down solidly against the incentives for residential use? That's stalling that part of the industry. The residential solar industry has fought back, taking its case to the courts and pushing for a referendum. But this week, the courts ruled that the issue needs legislative action first. They can take it to the Supreme Court, but realistically, it, it doesn't matter because unless it was done two months ago, it's not going to affect most small solar companies like us. Like many other solar companies, Hamilton Solar is packing it in. We've essentially have sold off everything uh, uh, that we have that pertaining residential solar and we're downsizing from a 7,000 square foot office to a 1,400 square foot office and we're down to two employees from 30. Just yesterday, the governor announced his move to get residential solar back on track. I've just appointed a new renewable energy commission to, that is going to be talking about that very issue, which will likely be a very um, important part of what my objectives will be and my goals will be for the state of the state in 2017. But Reed Hamilton says it's just too little, too late. Well, he can't wait. He says that the industry will rebound. This is just an opportunity for them to slow us down, but they're not going to stop solar. No way. Yet commercial plants like this hybrid in Stillwater will put Nevada on the map for solar on a grand scale. And once the politics are worked out, residential solar is expected to shine brightly again. Covering the big story, Aaron Breen, Channel 2 News. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist.